Hey guys, this is Mad Kids on the One. And today is going to be a simple video on how to reformat any USB external hard drive or um, non network external hard drive. When I say non network, I mean if you connect to your Mac's hard drive through Wi Fi, like um, one of our subscribers had a video on that, um, then um, this won't work. But if you have something physically plugged into your computer, this will work. So I'm just going to be showing you how to reformat um, a an external hard drive on your computer. So I have an a, um, a 4 gigabyte USB stick right here. Let me just open up photo booth to show you. It's um, 4 gigabytes. Um, so right here is where it comes out. And it's actually a pretty nice little stick. But um, from my Linux computer, I formatted it as an EXT volume, and um, I don't want it to be one, because I want my Mac to be able to read it as well. So I'm just going to take plug it in here, okay? I've plugged it in, so now it's going to say, um, if, 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 you, if your computer cannot read the disk, then um, it will just bring up that error message, since I can't read my disk. If it's like an MS DOS disk and you plug it in, it just shows up on your hard, on your desktop. That's fine too. I will point out that reformatting a drive erases everything on the drive normally if you don't have something fancy set up there. So you have to make sure you back up everything on your drive. Next, you want to go into disk utility. Okay. Now, disk utility is the utility you can use um, to edit any volumes. So I'm going to click on my volume right here. Now I'll go to partition first of all and you can see how many partitions this has. So I'm just going to say um, erase and now when I go under erase under volume format I can select whatever format I want. I'm going to make it a Mac OS X extended journaled. I want it to be journaled. And I'm going to be naming it, um, I'm just trying to think of a good name that I could give it. Um, maybe I'll make people think that I have a time capsule. I don't know how to spell. Okay, so I spelled time capsule wrong, probably. You can also click security options to say um, super duper erase everything on this. I'm just gonna just just do it quickly and not actually fix anything. And you know what? I'm just gonna name it Time Machine Fake. Okay, now you click Erase. And so now you want to erase it. It says, yeah, I'll just click Erase. Now it's 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 just deleting everything on this and it's reformatting it to be a Mac OS X disk. When it's done with this. I will have my um, hard drive is going to be cool. So right here, if I click this and I say um, erase, it's already a Mac OS X extended volume. And right here it is. Here's my volume. And I can even use Time Machine on it if it's large enough. Whatever. And now I'll just show you so say say I want to make this work on a PC too. I go back into Disk Utility, select my drive under Erase. I'm going to um, change Mac OS X Extended Journal to MS DOS. Now I'll name it Useless. Okay, and I will point out that on one of these hard drives. Um, on MS DOS, it has to be all caps. Now I'll click erase, and I'll click erase. And now it's going to reformat it as an MS DOS drive called useless. And here it is mounted. As you can see, it's um, MS DOS FAT32. And I'm just going to make this, I'm just going to make it all this because I want it to be case sensitive, and I'm going to call it. Mac heads and one backup. And just Mac heads and one because I like to have at least five different copies of our website at once so that way you don't ever lose your stuff or we don't ever mess up our website. Um, 
So that's how to re reformat any USB drive. Um, you can also partition it by selecting the full drive and selecting partition. Then you can set the number of partitions and just click apply. And so this this is um, how to reformat your external hard drive. So thank you for watching Mac Heads and all on. Subscribe to our videos because if you subscribe to our videos, we get more subscribers, which means that um we get more more inspiration to do great videos. Okay, so um thank you for watching Mac Kids and One. Subscribe and goodbye.